Hey guys, this is Kamal from GadgetMix.com and here is my two-year-old EE701 running the latest Ubuntu. Uh, this is the version 10.04 which was just launched today. Let me give you a quick glance at its specs. Uh, it is running at 900 MHz uh, clock speed and it has uh, 2 GB RAM. Uh, during installation I did not make any swap because it, I didn't feel there was any need for it since there was since I think that 2 GB RAM should be enough for it now I went for the ext2 file system because I have heard that um, the ext2 do far less writes than the ext3 and ext4 uh, which supports generalizing um, now here's a quick rundown of what has been updated or what has been added in the uh, Ubuntu 10.04. Um, first is the updated software center. It is now called the Ubuntu Software Center 2.0. Um, and it brings a slew of improvements over the previous one. The most noticeable is the is this orange button which says featured applications. Now these are the applications which have not been pre-installed on the Ubuntu but they're recommended. I have not installed any one of them and um, perhaps I will install the GIMP later on because I'm a Photoshop enthusiast and maybe I will maybe this will prove to be a little bit handy in editing the pictures once I get used to its uh, cumbersome interface and um, what's next uh, there's something called Weber, which, which is a social networking tool. Um, let me start it up. It takes quite a while. Uh, this computer is slow, two years old now. Okay, um, it lets you manage multiple accounts from uh, Twitter, Flickr, StatusNet, Kwaiku, Facebook, FriendFeed, Dig, Identity.ca. There is no LinkedIn support. I must point out. Um, let's minimize this. Uh, you must have noticed that the buttons have shifted to the left. Um, there is an easy way to change them if you want to change them. Actually, um, go to themes and you can select uh, something like clear looks, which will shift these buttons to the right. I prefer them to the left. Now, there are two new themes here uh, ambience and the white one called the uh, white one is this radiance uh, which makes your uh, whole interface much more like a Mac OS X I don't like white color so I'll choose ambience just dark dark grayish um, there's no flash player pre-installed on the system so uh, out of box you won't be able to see any of those flash uh, flash based videos online so this means no YouTube but don't panic uh, there's a, a easy way to rectify that problem just go to you went to software center and search for flash and you install the thing I've already installed that and another thing which I would recommend you guys to install is the audacious player now uh, what is this thing now let's say I want to play a uh, audio say mp3 file I've got a few Justin Bieber songs here let's try playing uh, this new single from Scene Kingston Eeny Meeny now by default it opens the movie player and it gives you a crazy crazy error saying uh, search for suitable plugin now for the first time you want to users this may per perplex them because they just don't know I mean what to install here but don't panic just go to Ubuntu Software Center and search for Audacious. Audacious. And install this thing. Then go to the file, right click, open with Audacious. It should play without a problem. I love this song. Alright. What else is there? There's no GIMP. Uh, there's no. Uh, well, there's a Quiver application. 
and to manage photos you have to depend on the app spot photo manager I also recommend you guys to install the Google Chrome which starts up much faster than the Firefox it takes quite a while to start just search for Google Chrome I'm typing this behind the camera actually Google Chrome and you install this thing from here so guys there you have it the Ubuntu 10.04 running on the little EE701 if you have got any queries um, shoot them in the comments below and there's a link in the description if you would like to read the uh, full uh, Ubuntu 10.04 review thanks for watching guys Bye-bye.